the state that we all want to get to this, like just limitless health feeling like we can do whatever we want in this lifetime. We feel amazing. We have get up and go. We wake up in a positive mood. It's all rooted in metabolism. Metabolism is how we literally make energy in our cells. We have almost 40 trillion cells and they're all just little machines. They're just little machines that want to do all this work every day to bubble up, to make us have these fabulous lives. But to do that, they need energy. They need cellular energy. And the way we get that cellular energy is we convert food. We convert the 70 metric tons of food we put in our mouths in our lifetime. And we've got to convert it to energy we can use to make those cells work. That's metabolism. And as you know, in 93% of American adults today, metabolism is under siege. It's problematic. We have metabolic dysfunction. This was 88% five years ago. Now it's 93% of Americans. It's going up and up. If the trends keep going, it's going to be all of us. Okay. So we're in this moment where we have to reorient really everything about our wellness choices, our dietary choices, our healthcare system laser focused on how do we improve metabolic health? And ultimately that comes down to how do we make our mitochondria function properly? Cause like we all learned in high school biology, mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. They are the thing that ultimately takes byproducts of that food that we eat digestion products and turns it to energy that we need to use. So, so mitochondria, um, are sort of like the, they really get to the answer of your daughter's questions as well, which is, you know, I, I have a slow metabolism. What a bummer. This makes my life harder. And I think this is a myth that we have to debunk this idea of, I have a slow metabolism or I have a fast metabolism. So we can clip this and give it to your daughter. The reality is, is that the dozens and dozens of choices that we make every single day around all aspects of our diet and lifestyle from our sleep consistency to whether we see light from the sun in the first hour of the day to whether we are eating refined sugars or refined grains versus process, versus whole foods. Those decisions are what cultivate a fast metabolism, which is a choice we can make every single day. And what a fast metabolism really means is that we have mitochondria in our cells that are supported and working properly. And there's so many ways we can do that. And there's so many ways we can hurt it. So I'll give just one example that I think really helps sort of like sort of really solidify that. A metabolism is a little machine inside our cell that makes energy for that machine to work. Just like a machine in a factory, it has all these little screws that have to be screwed in right for that machine to work. Those screws are basically micronutrients from our food. So for a mitochondria to work properly, we need vitamin C, magnesium, zinc, several B vitamins, manganese, several others. These are little screws that go into the machine. And when they're locked in tight, that machine can work properly in our micronutrient deplete diet, because we are eating ultra processed foods and we are eating foods that come from soil that has been decimated by industrial agriculture. Our food is profoundly micronutrient depleted. So now you've got a cell that can't reach out and grab the micronutrients it needs to basically put into the mitochondria to make it work properly. So what do you get? slower metabolism because the mitochondria don't have what they need to function properly. The same is true for several other elements of our, of our diet and lifestyle. For instance, like morning sunlight, when you get those photons hitting your retina first thing in the morning sends a signal to the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the brain, which sends a signal to your body that it is morning time, which turns on genetic pathways that literally tell our mitochondria to work properly. So that's another way that we can cultivate faster metabolism. So, so that's kind of a myth. I would say that, that it's really something that we are, or we are not. It's something that we can cultivate and we cultivate it by focusing on nurturing the mitochondria.